All right, so I was having some conversations with some uh, gurus over the weekend, and uh, we were talking about VIX, and uh, someone recommended that we'd look at the move. And the move is bond market option volatility. So it's basically like a fear gauge, but for the bond market. And as you know, um, it goes from government bonds to indices and then to FX in the order. And so if, what, if the bonds move, the bond market moves, then it basically has a knock on effect for risk sentiment. And um, as a result, our, our trading will be affected and impacted by um, these huge moves that we see. Uh, there's no pun intended by that, <laughs> by the way, it's just uh, the move index. So um, a risk off scenario is when the VIX and the move spike in parallel, risk on is when they fall in parallel, that as we can see right now, we don't particularly wanna see uh, a big uh, widening of the spread, because that would be unusual. What they should try and do is to try and uh, mirror each other and, um, and then that's like a you know a decent risk on indication so uh, because uh, it looks like they're both going to fall we might probably going to be uh, continuing to be risk on as you saw from my earlier video that the markets were quite green and I think it's possibly going to continue to be green because of these two however I think we might see a spike at the New York Open in order to flush out some unwanted retail guys who are probably going to try and buy the dip so I imagine what might happen, might see a wobble at um, New York Open, and then these two are going to resume, and then, you know, we're going to be quite positive for a sentiment. So still high, I mean, we're still quite high, um, but it looks like they're coming down. And what they were saying is that these gurus I was speaking to on the weekend, uh, they're saying we watch them for um, the widening, and if they run in parallel, so them going up in parallel is risk off, them going down in parallel is risk on. So I'm gonna try and maybe incorporate this into the spreadsheet. I don't know if Google Finance will actually do that. Um, I doubt it, but I can look. And so I just wanna keep you updated there. So maybe on your trading view, if you've got like a watch list, just add the move on there and then add VIX as well. And if you wanna compare the two, you just uh, you know do one of these options up here. Uh, you should be familiar with trading view. I'm still a bit of a noob at it, but you can just uh, you can do that somehow. I can't remember how to do it now. But uh, I would compare. That's how you do it. So you just go to VIX and then you click plus, and then add the move there. So uh, that's that. So maybe it might be useful for you. Well, it should be useful for you because we need to know if we're risk on or off. And there was quite a bit of uncertainty at the London Open. And I think New York, we might have a spike of more uncertainty, but it will actually be a flush, and these two are gonna resume their downtrend. So that's my that's my thought, and that's how we should have probably approach you know the markets by looking at VIX and also move as well going forward. So let, let's see how we go, and um, probably a large time frame as well. I think just to cut out some noise, four hours should be fine. And so that's that. So I'll be back tomorrow morning and um, yeah, see how we go and uh, just trade safely and you should be fine. Know your exit. Uh, I was short on S&P, but I got out, which I'm glad I did because it looks like it's going up. So I'll speak to you guys soon.